Jones, we have to talk about this. Um, the Weekend's album just came out the other week, or this weekend, this past weekend, sorry, um, called Dawn FM. And my word, is it brilliant? Um, alongside the Gunners album, which I also enjoyed, but I was really looking forward to listening to the Weekend's album. It sort of came out of nowhere. He just announced it, I think, in December or something, maybe the beginning. And then it says it's going to drop the first week of June, January. It did. Live streamed, I think, a performance on Amazon Music, which a lot of people have been doing. It's obviously Tune Drake do it with the Larry Hoover concert with um, Kanye. So obviously there's some sort of deal, I guess, with record labels to get Amazon Music up and running, it feels like. And obviously they're partly in, tied in with TikTok as well. So that obviously makes some sense. But damn. As an album that kind of covers genres across what synth pop, new disco, um, new wave, electro, it was legitimately up there with some of his best material, especially this kind of iteration of the weekend, this sort of like commercial weekend. This is definitely the best iteration of it. And again, if you weren't a fan of Kissland and you didn't really know where he was going direction wise, I think so far. This has been a great way to kind of end that sort of series, that sort of sound. It's been a great way to end it, especially as I was thinking the other day. Since Daft Punk have decided to hang up the gloves, that sound basically needed a new custodian. And I think The Weeknd's maybe the best at doing it so far. Um, he's definitely the most versatile. He definitely has the best melodies, the bass line, like the song constructions are just like just otherworldly. Of course, you can tell straight away the thing sounds fucking expensive. I think when you're the weekend, you're at that level of artist, you can pull in some big, big, big wigs. And if I'm not mistaken, he's got guys from the Beach Boys. He's got that really, really popular and famous and successful pop writer, Max Martin, and many other people as well, OPN, um, kind of doing the project and lending a hand. Of course, Quincy Jones, the Taylor Crea feature, Lil Wayne, blah, blah, blah. But just overall, him as an artist, man, like in terms of consistency, in terms of attention to detail, in terms of all the promotional content, like the, the album cover with him kind of aged out, right? The same sort of motif or character that he used in the previous one. Like, it's just amazing. Like, it really, really is really, really, really well done. Um, So far, I think when I listened to the album, I couldn't get past Gasoline. And I had to go on the the weekend subreddit to find out that it's actually him speaking or sorry it's actually him singing just changed his voice i don't know how he did that i guess that must have been a consequence of maybe the the jim carrey friendship because supposedly the weekend jim carrey have kind of struck up a friendship because the weekend's been obsessed with jim carrey because i think that was the first uh was it um the joker yeah i think the joker not joker sorry um what was that movie called that he's in you know what I'm talking about. The one where he's the green character. Whatever, you know what I mean, right? That was the first movie he watched in a cinema. So he's been obsessed with um, Jeremy Carey since then. And um, oddly enough, they happen to live across the road from each other or near each other in LA. Um, they got put in contact. They had this really cute moment where they kind of saw each other through telescopes. Um, Jim Carrey then got him balloons and invited him out for dinner or breakfast, I think, for his 30th birthday, which has sounded like a sweet thing to do. And since then, they've had a creative relationship. And he's even featured on the outro. Of the, I think it's featured on the intro and the outro of the album. And then I just assumed that was Jim Carrey. I don't know why. I just assumed that would be a sick way to kind of introduce the album. you got Jim Carrey singing a fucking John Mouse type record on the beginning of the album. But it's not. It's actually him just I, I guess he might pitch down his voice or he changed the annotation i don't know it just it's amazing get past get past gasoline and then the reason why i want to mention it is this track here with tired the creator right with an amazing um quick verse on their standout um lyric obviously being um signed the prenup right that's obviously going to be screamed at all the concerts when that gets played live so definitely um kudos to tyler for doing that but there's a line in this track called here we go again <sighs> If I was Bella Hadid's boyfriend, this off and on guy that she's been with her for a while, I would be. I would basically tell the weekend that it's on site. Like if we see each other in real life, because I imagine they would, they're probably bumped. They're probably in the same circles. It'd have to be, you know, let's go outside to the parking lot and and just throw hands quickly because this is so disrespectful. So this is um the track called "Here We Go Again" on the weekend's album. I think it's at like track six or seven, featuring um Tyler the Creator, and there's a bit here, right? Um, where he's basically it feels like talking about this new boyfriend and basically saying he doesn't match up to him and whatnot right so this is the following let's start from here um um yeah this the, the flex here a quarter billion and off here used to sing on love so oh, love this guy and he said yeah um, um said you wanted your boyfriend jealous of a couple pics and you didn't expect to fall in love for me once you got this stick 
The city dark, city dangerous. Your girlfriend's trying to pair you with somebody more famous. But instead, you ended up with somebody so basic, faceless, right? Obviously, the guy that she's with now, you know, he's a little bit of a normal looking white male, right? It's not his fault. It is what it is. I think he's a creative director, an artist or something. I don't know. Um, someone to take a picture and frame it. Imagine someone saying that. He reduced you to that. He says, but instead, you ended up with someone so basic, faceless. Someone to take your pictures and frame it. And my new girl, she a movie star. My new girl, she a movie star. I loved her right make her scream like Neve Campbell supposedly he's going out with him Angelina Jolie that's basically the rumors out there they're kind of having a little bit of a secret relationship but just imagine if my man said this about you in the song just imagine right your girlfriend shall appear you with somebody more famous but instead you end up with someone basic faceless and I think they got a link to it right you can see the actual picture of the dude um who she's kind of dating at the moment I think it should come up here yeah but yeah, it's flagrant, flagrant from the from Abel, my man. Yeah, that's the guy. This the basic faceless guy. But my man Abel is a mad boy because I think it's been, a, it's been, it's been kind of floated on the weekend subreddit that Bella and the weekend have still been getting together behind the scenes, under the radar for a while, off and on. And maybe it kind of finally got put to bed when she obviously started dating this guy. She's like, oh, enough's enough. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna be serious with me, let, let's just call it quits. Um, but yeah, even if that isn't the case, still, my man describing you as faceless and somebody that just takes pics for her, like, he's the one taking all her crazy, like, outfit pictures and shit, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> They're quite good pictures, don't get me wrong, but God, man, what an absolute disrespectful bar, but yeah, drama aside, the entire album's a banger. Um, for me, no skips. I listened to it in the gym. Again, I, I couldn't skip past gasoline for the first hour or so. I was out and about, and um, I've loved it ever since. It really, really is good. And kind of, I feel sorry for Gunner as well because Gunner's album's really good too, especially for that kind of sound. If you're not into that kind of um, Gunner's harmonies and whatnot, I think it's maybe his most versatile in terms of outputting. And it generally is a good album. Um, it's got a really good Chloe feature on there, which obviously they're dating too. So that was a really good surprise. But I think that album, that track is really good. He's got a track called Living Wild. Um, that's really amazing and opens up about his kind of health scares he's had over the years. And just a really solid album. He's got a couple of great future um, features, um, Young Folks features on there. Just a great, great album. But unfortunately, this weekend album is just on another level. Like it really is on another level. And I really recommend if you haven't checked it out already, please do. The weekend Dawn FM. Again, this album's gonna slap a lot more once we're out and about properly. Like once the world really, really opens up and we're able to, you know, you know, throw up shapes and tap our feet. Uh when you see this performed live or you see it played outside, people are gonna be losing their mind, man. Like the bops, the melodies, the bass lines are off some other, maybe because i'm on my electro tip recently i've been listening to a lot of electro i've been listening to a lot of new wave maybe right i think i was recently listening to the killers album um i had rem i think which he mentioned as well i played recently um just out and about so maybe that's why it kind of connected with me but fuck man the album's good it really is good i recommend you check it out if you haven't already it's definitely definitely one of my favorites so far from the weekend i have to admit 